Welcome to the Master Cars Pro channel. Today we will talk about the problems and weaknesses of Toyota Avensis. Interior. Toyota interiors are generally hard wearing but some of the plastics used in the event Avensis are a little on the cheap and shiny side and can be easily scratched. Also some business edition models have light colored inserts on the seats and door cards that can show up dirt. Alloy wheels, uh, most business edition models were fitted with sensibly size 17 in alloys but higher spec cars had larger wheels that can be susceptible to curb damage. Make sure you have a good look around before buying because repairs can be expensive and a sign of potential suspension uh, alignment issues. DPF light Keep an eye out for the diesel particulate filter (DPF) uh, light. Uh, most of the time, uh, the trap particulate uh, matter will be burned off, uh, but the filter can clog if you do lots of short journeys, requiring you to either take a long drive or a trip to the dealer if it can regenerate itself. EGR valve. This shouldn't be a problem if you regularly service your car and frequently drive it and drive it on the motorway. But some diesel Avensis owners have mentioned having problems with the exhaust gas uh, recirculation (EGR) valve clogging up. Uh, watch out for a, a check engine light or a rough idle. Sat nav. The Avensis doesn't have the greatest info infotainment system and its sat nav had, uh, can some time uh, give owners uh, trouble by taking them on old uh, roads uh, have the software updated which can be done while the car being serviced um, and this should hopefully improve matters airbags examples uh, built between 6 September 2016 and uh, 21st October 2016 uh, can have a problem with side airbags that might not activate in a collision. Check uh, with your local Toyota dealer to make sure the remedial work has been carried out. Exhaust bolts. The bolts on the exhaust system of 2.0 liter diesel models manufactured between 23 June 2016 and 27 October 2016 that can work loose. Uh, they're close to the turbocharger which makes them hard to spot. So ask your Toyota dealer if this work has been done. Is a used Toyota Avensis saloon reliable? Unfortunately, there wasn't enough data to include the Avensis in our latest reliability survey, but Toyota as a whole managed a fantastic third place out of 31 manufacturers. The Patrol Avensis is, is rather rare, but if you need an automatic gearbox, it's the only model you can have. Would pick the uh, 2.0 liter diesel over the 1.6 liter diesel because uh, while there are an awful lot more examples of the smaller. Uh, engine round, it's too underpowered for a, a car of this size. All versions of the Avensis come with automatic emergency braking, climate control, cruise control, and Bluetooth. But with just uh, going for the most popular business edition version, which adds sat nav and rear uh, view camera, rear parking sensors, lumbar support, and alloy wheels. Business edition plus gets you partial leather seats. While top of the range XL uh, includes full leather heated front seats and fox wood uh, inserts on the dashboard, both the 1.6 liter and 2.0 liter diesel uh, models should be inexpensive to run with official NEDC full fuel economy figures of 67.3 mpg and 62.8. 8 mpg translating to annual road tax uh, cost of uh, 20 pounds and 30 pounds the patrol is much thirstier at uh, 46.3 mpg so the, it'll cost uh, 140 pounds in road tax however any evidence is that was registered after 
1st April 2017 will cost 140 uh, pounds per year because it'll be charged under the new system. Toyota servicing isn't the cheapest uh, rent and, and the Evanses isn't yet old enough to qualify for discounted rates so you'll need to choose from either intermediate for 185 pounds full for 335 pounds or full plus for 395 pounds well if you are the owner of this car then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car perhaps it is your feedback that'll help viewers when choosing a car that's it for today thanks everyone for attention it isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel see you soon